We're gonna cover a single cooler by Arctic, the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 240. In this review, we'll cover four areas, the looks, insulation, sound, and performance. Let's start with the looks of the cooler. The Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 240 offers a clean and modern look relative to the prior versions. It uses two P12 fans against a 270 mm radiator with RGB versions available. The AIO pump has a clean and symmetrical look, perfect for any orientation setup. In regards to installation features, this cooler has the fans already pre-installed and daisy-chained, making it easier than most other AIOs. Additionally, this cooler offers the ability to use a single connector to the motherboard that controls all the fans, and also has the ability to break out the connection so you have more control over your fan curve software. Here's a quick overview of the installation process. First, you want to install the brackets. Once they're installed, you want to secure the radiator to where you want it located on the case. Once the radiator is installed, apply the connector to the AIO pump. You can either choose from a single connector or multi-connectors if you want more control of each component of the AIO pump. Once the connector is installed, remove the sticker and apply thermal paste to the CPU. Now secure the pump to the AIO brackets. Once it's secure, connect the VRM fan and the fan connector to the motherboard. Now you're good to go. Before we look at performance, here's a 10 second clip of raw audio of the cooler. I increased the noise so the cooler is clearly audible. Now we know you're here to see how this cooler performs, so let's dive into it. We will first compare this cooler to the average cooler, and then show you the results based on the cooler of a similar weight class. For each compare, we will show the coolers over idle, high, and overclock temperatures, and show you two sets of charts. One that looks performance normalized by percent speeds, and one that looks performance normalized by sound. In our first set of charts normalized by percent speeds against the average cooler tested, we have temperatures on the left represented by the saw line, noise on the right represented by the dash line, and percent speeds on the bottom. For this graph, lower is always better. At idle, the Liquid Freezer 3, 240, and red performs noticeably cooler than the average cooler in blue. As we increase the heat to 105 watts, we can see that this gap materially grows across the board. Additionally, we can see that the Arctic Freezer 3 is noticeably louder at the lower RPMs, driven primarily by the pump. However, this difference shrinks to minimal levels as the cooler approaches 100% fan speed. It's important to note that the pump was put at 100% speed for testing and can be lowered when high performance isn't required. When we push the CPU to 130 watts, we can see that this cooler offers comfortable temperatures across all fan speeds. And if you want to stay up to date on more benchmarks, hit that subscribe button. In our next set of charts normalized by sound against the average cooler, we have temperatures on the left, noise on the bottom, with lower being better. At idle, we can see that the Liquid Freezer 3 provides better cooling for a given noise level. And when we push the CPU to 105 watts, we can see that this cooler offers significantly better cooling than the average cooler tested at comparable noise levels. And when we push the CPU to 130 watts, we can see that this trend continues. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Next up, we will compare the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 360 to a few other coolers in its weight class, including the Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 240, the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 360, and the Noctua NHD 15 G2. Additional comparisons can be found on my website at pcanalytics.com. At idle, we can see that the Liquid Freezer 3 240 provides similar level of cooling. As we increase the watts to 105, we can see that the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 240 has a similar level of cooling as the Noctua NHD 15 G2 and shows a noticeable improvement over the second generation 240. Additionally, we see a slight difference at the higher RPMs relative to the 360 AIO in terms of cooling. However, the Liquid Freezer 3 240 has elevated noise levels at the lower RPMs due to the pump, while the overall noise levels are on the lower end at 100% fan speed. When we increase the heat to 130 watts, we can see that this trend continues. Next up is our charts normalized by sound. At idle, all coolers offer a similar performance for a given noise level. As we turn up the heat to 105 watts, we can see that the Liquid Freezer 3 240 begins to materially outperform the prior generation 240 and offers performance more in line with the other coolers shown. And when we push the CPU to 130 watts, we can see that the Liquid Freezer 3 continues to pull ahead. And if you want to see a deep dive into the Liquid Freezer 3 360, check out this video here.